Well, thank you to Roger uh, for that update. As we continue to pray for the Hue people, let us pray in the expectation that not only God hears our prayers, but our God will answer our prayers when the time is right for him to do so. In our prayers for others now, I I want to to base them on on a prayer written by the leader of the 24-hour prayer movement, uh, Pete Gregg. It's a prayer that we used at the High Street Zoom Pays and Prayer Gathering uh, last Tuesday. Our prayers at this time especially need to continue uh, to be focused on this, this terrible pandemic. And as we pray, it's a good thing to, to use scripture at times to help us uh, to, to express uh, what we are praying for. So let us continue in an attitude of prayer as we bring our prayers to others. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we ask you to protect us from the the spread of coronavirus. You are powerful, Lord. You are powerful and merciful. And let this be our prayer from Psalm 57. Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. And I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Jehovah Shalom, you who are the Lord of peace. Today, we remember those living in coronavirus hotspots and those who currently are in isolation. May they know your presence in their isolation, your peace in their turmoil, and above all, your patience in their waiting. You who are the Prince of Peace, Lord, you are powerful and merciful. Let this be their prayer from Psalm 79. May your mercy come quickly to meet us, for we are in desperate need. Help us, God, our Saviour, for the glory of your name. God of all comfort, God of all comfort and counsel, we pray for those this morning who are grieving, reeling from the sudden loss of loved ones, May they find fellowship in their suffering, your comfort in their loss, and your hope in their despair. We want to pray for those who are known to us today, those who are vulnerable, those who are even scared, fearful this morning, as we think of the frail, the sick, and the elderly. This morning we continue to remember the McClelland family in the loss of Roy, and especially for Muriel and some other members of the family who have, who have contracted COVID in recent days. God of all comfort, You are powerful and merciful. May this be our prayer from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, where it says that he has delivered us from such a deadly peril and he will deliver us again. On him 
we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us. You who are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. And this morning we pray for for all the medical professionals, those who are dealing daily with the intense pressures of this crisis. Lord, we ask that you would grant to them resilience in their weariness, discernment in diagnosis, and compassion upon compassion as they seek to care for those under their care. Lord, we thank you for the the army of researchers who are continuing to work steadily and quietly towards producing even more vaccines. We ask that you would continue to give them clarity, serendipity and unexpected breakthroughs today. Lord, would you rise above this present darkness as the sun of righteousness with healing in your wings. May this be our prayer from Jeremiah chapter 32. Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and your outstretched arms. Nothing is too hard for you. You who are the God of all wisdom, we pray for our leaders in the world, health organisation. We pray for national governments, including our own in Westminster, and for our local leaders in the, in the executive and assembly instalment. We pray for those who are the heads of schools, of hospitals and other institutions. And since that we have positioned these people in public service roles for this hour, we ask you, Lord, to grant them wisdom beyond their own wisdom to be able not only to contain this virus, virus, give them faith beyond their own faith to fight this fear and strength beyond their own strength to be able to sustain vital institutions through this time of turmoil. God of all wisdom and counsel, you are powerful and merciful. May this be our prayer from Psalm 46 that reminds us that God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Let us pause to lift before God any who are in our minds at the present time who need our prayers this morning. We claim the promise in scripture that says, answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. As we offer these prayers, in the name of Jesus, our Saviour and Lord. Amen. Well, before uh, I hand over uh, to George to to bring us the the, the message this morning from the Word of God, 
and to allow him also to, uh, to close the service. Before he speaks to us, we're going to listen to another song that reminds us of the faithfulness of God. It's simply called Faithful God. <laughs> 